Hey guys, I thought it would be appropriate since I'm going to talk a little bit about hair that you um, you see mine in its sort of natural state. I've made no secret of the fact that my hair is thinning and that I've been on a quest to try to, you know, find products that'll help thicken my hair and, you know, just kind of like safeguard and keep the hair I have, which to me is the biggest battle, <laughs> you know, the biggest battle. But so one of the things that I just wanted to mention that I've been doing on my hair because I, I oftentimes you guys ask how is it going because I wear a lot of the wigs in my videos and and as you can see my own hair I mean I still have hair for sure it's just that it's thin and um, you know I can wear it up a lot I can do a lot of different styles sometimes I wear a fake little bun put it up on top of my head you know and stuff like that and and that works out okay but in general day in day out it's really hard sometimes for me to especially when I want to go in a video and I want my hair to look really good you know sometimes it's hard to fix it like right now you're seeing it in a I would never go on video like this and here I am on video right so it's kind of like wacky but um, anyways I think what I wanted to you know really stress to you <laughs> like Gigi Gigi Anyways, um, there's a couple things that I've been doing and a number of you have asked me, am I still derma rolling my scalp? So the answer to the derma rolling my scalp is yes. I derma roll maybe once every two weeks or so. I don't derma roll a lot. And when I derma roll, I have three products that I normally alternate on my hair. So one is that I am, and I use the Equate version of the Ladies Rogaine. This one is a, a dropper you do twice a day. I also have the foam that's a little bit stronger. The foam is the one that you can just use once. So it really all depends on your hair. And then I also have the Nutriox 3C, the hair serum. These are the three serums that I've been using on my hair. So when I derma roll, I, I make sure that, and usually I am going to be using this, the, the, this version because this has the, I believe this has the most proven ingredients in it that I know of for helping hair and you have to be very consistent with it. So I normally will do that. I'll put that on my hair after I derma roll on my scalp after I derma roll. And then in the morning, I might use the foam depending on, you know, when I put the foam on my part and I, I'm not a fan of how the foam really works, but I put it on my part and then I kind of massage it in and then I alternate with the Nutriox serum. Those are the three treatments that I've been doing for my hair. God, I look a mess. Those are the three treatments that I've been doing for my hair. And the other thing is that I used to be afraid to brush my hair all the time because every time I brush my hair, I would see hair come out. I still see hair come out. But one thing that I realized that if you don't stimulate your scalp and really unclog your hair follicles, especially follicles, follicles, your hair follicles, especially if you don't wash your hair every day, you need to really get your hair follicles stimulated and cleaned out. So I use this brush. This is a 100% Boar's head brush brush. And I, I think I'm just sort of like the old fashioned way that we used to do it. You know, you used to hear, oh, brush your hair. 100 strokes a night. Well, I don't do 100 strokes a night, but I brush my hair with this brush every single night and sometimes in the morning. I, um, I'm really good with brushing my hair because I believe that when you use products, especially if you use products that, you know, like sort of, um, if you're going to be using a topics type thing where you want to darken your scalp so it doesn't look so bad or if you use a sort of a fill-in powder like I have right here that I put all over here to cover my gray so if you use a fill-in powder like this you know sometimes even though you're putting it on your hair 
it's getting on your scalp. It's getting on your scalp. There's just no if and buts about it. So anyways, that's what, that's what I've been doing. You know, I've been brushing my hair like crazy. Instead of worrying that the brush is going to make it all fall out, I haven't worried about that at all. I've just been really brushing it very, very consistently. I've been using the, you know, the Equate version of the Woman's Rogaine and I still use the Nutriox Serum Alternate. Now, for shampoos, I have for many years, and these are empty, so this is kind of combination of what I'm tossing. These are empty. So for many years, I have used the, this is their Color Lover Volume Boost Conditioner, Volume Boost Shampoo. I get this from my hairdresser. This is from Framesy. I think that's the name of it. And this is what I've been using for a long, long time. In fact, I just ran out. And I just, this is what I got from her now. So I've got the big bottle. I'm going to refill the smaller one, put them in the camper. And this is what I'm going to be doing. So I alternate my, my shampoos that I use. So I've been using that. I have also been using the Nutriox system. However, I find that extremely drying. I don't like how my hair feels with it at all. So a while back, I was um, contacted by a company called Soul Toscano, and they have this awakening condition or an awakening shampoo. I'm gonna list all the information below for you guys to see. This is a this is a beautiful, beautiful formulation. I really love how this shampoo makes my hair feel. Now, last time I said yes to trying a shampoo, I tried an all-natural shampoo that many other content creators also reviewed at the same time and loved. And I looked, I, it, to me, it stunk to high heaven. I couldn't stand the smell of it whatsoever. It was just absolutely awful. This smells really nice, it has a, a, a faint smell, but more importantly, it actually feels really good. Now, it doesn't lather up a lot, at least I have hard water, so maybe if you have more of a softer water or something, I don't know, but I have very hard water. It doesn't super lather easy, so I have to make sure that my hair is really, really wet, and then I put it on, and then I work it through, and it feels really, really good. So what I've been doing is like every third shampoo or fourth I use this I also use a clarifying shampoo as well but I have found with this I actually like how my hair feels with this afterwards and they have the conditioner and the shampoo the ingredients are really really nice it's made with some essential oils but it's really put my glasses on maybe I can actually read the uh, ingredients Cypress, lemon, mint, and essential oils. Awakening, balsamo, energetic. <laughs> this is an organic. It's made in Italy. And there's a whole bunch of different things on the ingredients, but it's a natural organic. organic and it's really, I will have to tell you, for an organic shampoo, and my only experience has been a real negative one with an organic shampoo. I was pleasantly surprised with this. I really like this a lot. I like this so much that when I'm empty, I'm going to buy these. I'm going to buy these. These were sent to me. This company had reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to, you know, try, try their shampoo. I said sure. And no obligation, not being sponsored. I, uh, I'll leave the information below. I can't remember if there's any kind of a coupon code. If there is, I'll include that. I just can't remember, but I'm liking this shampoo a lot, a real lot. The other thing I wanted to talk about that was sent to me, this was actually sent to me via the Octoly Network, and um, I'll include, I'll insert the little clip here. Well, I'm looking forward to trying this. And they also sent me these three products to go with it. Oh my gosh. I think it looks very um, interesting. I think it's time to sit down and read the directions. Network. This is the Chi Spin and Curl. And I'm going to see if I can make it work, but it, I'm a little nervous because I've been reading the directions 
this is big and my hair is short. So I'm like, uh oh, but I'm gonna give it a whirl, a twirl, spin and curl, a spin. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a try. Have any of you used this? My hair is so short. I'm not too sure I'm going to be, this is bigger than I anticipated. I think maybe um, both my daughter-in-laws have long hair and I'm thinking maybe one of them could be a ideal model for this. I don't know, we'll see. I hope, anyways. So now I'm back. I tried this. I, I think my hair is too short to make this work. I had a really hard time because my hair is so short. I'm going to use this on one of my daughter-in-laws. I have two daughter-in-laws. They both have long hair. I'm going to use it on one of them. I did get a texturizing spray. I have not tried that yet. I am going to try that because next time I'm going to talk about texturizing sprays. And then also a heat defiant um, or heat protectant sort of a... Um, you know, an iron uh, guard, as they call it. And then this one, a silk infusion. I think that's really nice. I like, I like being able to put stuff like that in my hair. So this for me, this was all sent to me via the Octoly Network from Chi. And this is their spin and curl. And I know I just showed this in the clip I inserted. I really like this. I think the concept is good, but for me on my short hair, I could not really get this. I think it's too big for my shorter hair. I could do the ends, but I couldn't do the whole thing. I like the idea. I like the whole concept, but I think I'm going to have one of my daughter-in-laws give this a try and see if it works for them. They both have super long hair. I'll let you know how that works. The other thing, since we're on hair, March, is it Brickle? Brickle? Anyways, Marge has a Facebook group. She's also on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. I think she's more active on Facebook and Instagram than YouTube. But quite a while ago, last year sometime, she made a recommendation that I try the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Body Builder. I bought this stuff. I used it at my niece's wedding. I absolutely loved it. It's expensive and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, but you can adjust the nozzle, you know, so you can go from more of a heavier to a lighter spray depending on your needs. But I really liked how it made my hair feel. It was like the room. Then she said to me, Monica, you got to check this stuff out. You can only get it at a certain, you know, on their website or you can get it at your hair, um, well, maybe at a hairdresser's. But anyways, this is the Helium Fiber Flex Multifunction Styling Spray, Finishing Spray, Fix, Define, and Lift. It's, you, you pay about the same amount of money for one of these as you do for one of these, but you get like what, three times the product. This stuff is like unreal, unreal. <laughs> it is like unreal. I mean, I'm not styling my hair right now, but take a look at what this did. Can you imagine if I put in like a few curls, if I style it, if I'm going to lift it up? This does a fabulous, fabulous job. And you can go a little bit heavier. You can lift underneath. Usually I go upside down. And at the price of this, you don't mind spraying a little bit more. Anyways, the point is that Ma just asked me a couple of times how I'm liking the helium. And I have to, you know, I mean, I have to really use something a while before I feel super, super comfortable with it. And let me tell you, <laughs> I'm liking the helium a lot. I like the helium better than I like the living proof. I really do. The helium is better than living proof. Now, even with this, because my hair is so fine and so baby soft, I need hairspray. I could not, I mean, I could, this is awesome for styling, awesome for giving me some fluff, some body, some texture. 
I could simply not walk around without hairspray. So I always have to use some hairspray. Now this, this was sent to me. I haven't tried it yet. I'm like a little hesitant because because I already have the other stuff in there. So it isn't going to be any kind of a good, it has a little bit, when I sprayed it, has a little bit of a, oh, I don't know what kind of a, I'm going to have to check the ingredients out. It has a little bit of a, of a, a smell, but nothing bad. Where this, oh boy. So my battery died, so I have no, I had to switch cameras. I had to, I couldn't find a battery, so this is a different camera. And I don't even remember what I left off, but I think I was saying that I have to try something uh, a little bit longer before I can really feel comfortable with it, and that is the you know the case with sprays or anything else of that nature. So you know, with my hair being as fine as it is. I need all the help I can get. So I just wanted to share this with you. Thanks to Marge who turned me on to it. This is replacing my living proof. You can't go wrong with the money. You really can't. I absolutely love it. And my brush. If you, if you have thinning hair and you're afraid to really brush your hair, don't be afraid to brush your hair because all of the powder stuff that we put on our hair to, you know, to kind of like give it more volume, give it some depth. This, this would be something that I would put on to, you know, make my scalp not show up as much as you can see. You can see my scalp. Of course, you can see a lot of my grays right now too. So, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be hard. It's hard for me. Now, maybe you guys will think I'll monitor you out in left field. But it was like super hard for me to go and really think about brushing my hair to that extreme every single day. And my hairdresser said, if you do that, especially before you hop in the shower and you shampoo your hair, you will lift all of the products off of your scalp. And you'll also remove a lot of it from your hair fibers themselves. But more importantly, making sure that your hair follicles follicles are clear of any of that debris. And this feels wonderful. Jay one time picked up my brush and, and he was like, oh, I like this. He says, oh, I like this. I said, keep your paws off of it. It's my brush. <laughs> it's my brush. So I just wanted to share those things with you. A couple of things, like I said, this Sol Toscano, this is really nice. Ooh. Ooh, almost dropped it. Really nice shampoo, conditioner, and I really appreciate that they have two different color lids because when you're in the shower, I don't shower with my glasses, so it's hard for me to look at something that's identical and say what is what, but I know when I use this, the darker color is going to be the shampoo. It's the dark color. It's going to be getting everything off, and the lighter color is going to give me the conditioner and the, the fluff and all that stuff after the fact. That's how I remember it in the shower, so I really like that. I wish all shampoo bottles were able you were able to distinguish them in the shower in water without any glasses on without any glasses on and this I really wish I could I'm gonna play with it a little longer and see I really wish I could get this to work for me but I bet it'll work for my daughter-in-law one of my daughter-in-laws so anyways that's a quick hair video. I wanted to just talk about my hair and some of the products that I'm using. I'm also going to share with you some skincare um, stuff that I've been using that I've switched up a little bit. I've had a couple of requests for an updated skincare video, so I think I'll probably end up tackling that along with some more empties. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging in there, and I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.